What's going on, my new lovers? Welcome back. So as Tesla takes my portfolio to new all-time highs, I decided to check up on my other bad stock picks, starting with Scott's miracle Grow to see if they are still breathing signs of life here. So Scott's miracle Grow down a couple percent today. Might have to buy a couple more shares. I do really like this company. I mean, the cheaper the better. I mean, it was down. I think anything under 150 I like, but if it really, I would really start buying it heavy again if it did dip back below 140, I would say. I really like this company. Um, I've done multiple videos on it in the past, but just to give you the 30 second elevator pitch, I think what you get here is an excellent proven business model. You get that blue chip safety side with a lot of potential upside because they're expanding into the cannabis business. They acquired Hawthorne. So they're working on the soil and the growing end for cannabis, which I think could be very profitable for them. And if I was going to pick any cannabis play, it would be this company. Uh, they also pay a dividend yield. So this is a solid company, been around a long time. They've consistently increased their dividend for 12 straight years. So let's see what's going on. Scott's miracle Grow is a cheap cannabis stock with room to grow. I would agree with that statement. So let's take a look at what this article from Barron's has to say. So they're a dominant franchise in the consumer lawn and garden market, and it has a fast growing hydroponics business catering mainly to the marijuana industry. Again, as I said earlier, very high quality business. I'm sure if you do any gardening or landscaping that you've used Scott's miracle Grow products, I know that I use them all the time. So it was a major beneficiary of the stay at home trend during the pandemic, which makes sense. And that's also why these stocks shot up so much. It got up as high as $250 and then it came back down to earth here. So, it's, so that's why it's fallen um, over 40% since it's April high. Investors are worried about lower consumer demand in 2022. Yes, because in 2022, everyone's just going to stop gardening and Scott's Miracle Grow will be out of business and narrow profit margins. Yet the stock looks inexpensive, trading for 17 times projected earnings. So it's trading 17 PE ratio right now, which is much cheaper than the average PE for the market right now. You get this nice dividend yield and a lot of upside here. I mean, th this looks to be like it's really the bottom. And even if we go back on the chart here, I mean, the last few years, you know, it's definitely a cyclical business. They make the majority of their money in six months of the year, which obviously people aren't doing much gardening in winter time. Or apparently, as this article would have you believe, that in 2022 they won't be gardening at all. <laughs> so year to date, it's down 27%. Market value of 8.1 billion. Got a pretty low PE ratio when you compare it to the rest of the market. So as they said here, we think the stock has overcorrected and will probably step up our share repurchases as a result. The company has a $750 million buyback authorization has allocated $250 million for the coming months. So this is something that they had announced in their quarterly reports that they were going to start buying back a lot of shares. So in the short term, the next few months to the next year, that on that alone, the stock price should be going up. But I think that we have seen the bottom here. Again, I would I would buy some more shares in the 140s. And if it dropped below that, I would definitely buy it heavy. I think this is a great way to play the cannabis market while also giving you that quality blue chip business at the same time, stability. You get your 1.8% dividend yield. Really the best of all worlds in my view. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, drop me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Scott's Miracle Grow. And let me know what you want to see videos on in the future. This is Vinny from The Investment Club, and I'll see you next time.